Hi, this is Catherine from Denver Natural Mom, and today we are talking about how to dress you and your kids for family photo success. Um, we are here with Sarah from Sarah Renee Photography, and she is a Denver-based photographer who's been shooting families, couples, and babies for the last five years around Denver. Um, you know, deciding what to wear is just as hard as picking the right photographer, I think. Um, this summer we had an experience with my extended family where we agonized over what to wear and which shade of blue matched the shade of green. Um, we were even texting each other pictures from the dressing room. So I'm really relieved that Sarah is here to help us all get this right. Welcome, Sarah. Thank you for having me. All right, let's get going. All right, wardrobe for the whole family. Um, it is a work of art. So wardrobe for photos is a head to toe affair. You want outfits to reflect a polished and fun style, but also your unique personality and that of your family. Think of your family as one large piece of art. Choose your color palettes, but steer, steer clear of everyone wearing the same shade of green if that, for example, is the base color you wanna go with. Instead, focus on accent colors that might look great with green or pull a color from the plaid shirt your husband is wearing to match. Likewise, if you're just taking photos of your children, then maybe your daughter's leggings can match a small color from the checkered shirt that your little boy is wearing. And always try to incorporate layers as they can quickly make one outfit look like two. Also, patterns can be really fun, but avoid shirts that have logos or that are too busy with quotes, writing, things like that. All right, so in this family, this is a summer portrait, but they match the colors so well. So they're not all wearing the same shirt. Um, if you can tell, the little boy has a gray and white checkered shirt, which is perfect because his dad has on a solid gray shirt. And then the mom and the daughter have on coral shirts. So, and, and then there's gray incorporated through all of that. And even the dog has like this little pinkish coral. Pop of color. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> so that's, that's a great good example. All right, so right here we have a very urban look. And again, um, this family did such an awesome job of coordinating. Um, one of the little boys has an awesome plaid pattern. The other one is just stripes, but they all use, you know, pops of orange or a little bit of gray and the denim is sprinkled throughout. So it's not too overwhelming with orange, it's just little bits in everyone's outfits. That's cool. Awesome. Um, this one is one of my favorites. Um, they pulled it together so well. So her um, little skirt right there is this awesome shade of pink. And then her little boy shirt just has little pink and blue stripes. So the color, the dark blue on his shirt isn't necessarily anywhere on her, but the pink on him ties it into her. And again, this is the same couple. And just so you know, I always make parents do a shot or two by themselves. That's <laughs> because, so sweet. Yes, I know. I feel like the kids would want it someday. So I love that her husband is also wearing a shade of pink, but it's a much darker shade. So it's not, it doesn't have to match exactly. Like varying the shades is perfect. Or even if he just had, you know, a gray shirt with a little bit of pink or something like that it would still work. So you don't have to be afraid of like, cl like those clashing with each other. They can just play off of each other. Yeah, exactly. As long as it's, you know, within the same color base, but the shades range, I think that looks way better than having the same color. Cool. Okay, um, so this one is another one of my favorites from just a few weeks ago. And notice the mom's pants um, are purple, for lack of a better color word. Yeah. But, um, and then her little girl's headband is purple. And I wish you could see, but she has on this bright yellow necklace as well. It's apparent in many other photos, but that match her little girl's um, pants, which is super cute. And then... The dad just has like, you know, kind of a blue and white striped shirt that really goes with everything. So he doesn't even have to really pull from their color palette um, or shade at least. He just, you know, matches. So so two is enough. Not everybody has to match everybody yes. else. Yes, 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 exactly. Got it. See, people, we are trying to keep you off awkwardfamilyphotos.com <laughs> here. <laughs> yes. Um, and then really quickly, just to talk about layers. Um, so this little girl has this adorable little like wool vest on and she could take that off and it would look like a totally different outfit or when she has it on it really changes the look and makes it look very fun so always bring layers for your kids to wear all right timeless accessories um so newsboys hats or beanies are always adorable on little boys and can easily be taken on and off for quick multiple looks. Girls often look great in very simple headbands or a small clip to hold a side of hair out of her face.
but do think timeless. You don't want your accessories to outdate your photos. Um, so right here, Catherine, again on this left side photo, um, there's two shades of, I mean, really blue, if you want to call it that. Her pants are turquoise, but her little, um, what is that, scarf? Yeah. <laughs> scarf. Babies um, wear scarves, yes. I guess. Their no, necks get it's cold. super cute. <laughs> like, her mom brought that, and I was like, yes, I love it. And it's dark blue, and then her little headband just pulls, you know, it's mostly white with some of those dark blue colors. So it really works well together. Um, and then on the right, this little boy is wearing an adorable little fedora hat, and that really makes the look. And with some of the other photos that his parents wanted it to be more classic, we just took that off. Yeah, so that's cool. Lots of options there yes. without having to do like a complete change of your kid. Yes, because we all know that can be tiresome during yeah, the show. Exactly. <laughs> all right, and then right here on this one, I love her jean jacket. It, I feel like jean jackets never go out of style. And neither do pearls on the pearls. <laughs> She's and, classy. Yes, Very exactly. classy. She's very classy, and I feel like, you know, in 20 years, this will still be a very current photo. And yeah. her headband is just simple, like mm -hmm. not overwhelming. You can still focus on her face. So when the sweet girl gets married and they play this in like her engagement dinner <laughs> slideshow, mom can be proud that yeah, she, she... won't be embarrassed. Exactly. Oh Well-attired girl. Yeah, good job, mom. Um... Awesome. So now we're talking about head to toe. Um, so just a couple of photos on this. So remember, dress them and yourselves all the way from your head to your toes. So Converse's or Vans look really cute on little boys instead of scuffed tennis shoes and boots. Or traditional dress shoes look great on little girls. Um, try to avoid Crocs or like any worn out flip flops or anything that's too dirty. Um, but this is very simple. She just has, again, some timeless um, little dress shoes, but her leggings, I really feel like, are what make the outfit in this photo. Um, it's just such a simple ad, and it makes it look so much cuter. So I really love that one. And even for little boys, um, now this was, I believe, like a 12 or 13 year old boy, and he picked this out all himself. But this is very basic. Like he just has on, um, I think, Vans, and but his socks are really stylish. And so for his whole look, he had on a maroon shirt, but it just I mean, that little pattern and everything, like, made his look so much cuter because it showed his personality, too, I think. Well, Sarah, thank you so much. These tips are great, and I think that everybody can sort of apply these to getting dressed for a day when we know all of our pictures are going to be taken, or if you decided to invest in a big family photo shoot like some of these families did that you got to shoot. If you liked these tips and you want to learn more from Sarah, we're putting together a photography workshop um, coming up in December. So whether you're a mom that has invested in a really fancy camera and wants to learn how to use it better, or you're a mom who is all over Instagram and wants to learn how to use their iPhone better, we have tips for both of you. Um, you can get more information on this event by going to denvernaturalmom.com slash events slash take great pics. And we are also going to be listing in the links below if you want to get in touch with Sarah or see more of her portfolio on her website um, or follow both of us on Facebook. Thanks so much.